calling all clubs and teams. Student government is proud to announce our annual fall festival on November 22nd. Clubs and team sponsors, please check your email for the paperwork sent by Mr. Reese. Forms are due by November 1st. We, we can't, can't wait to see you all there. Hey seniors, get excited because your senior pinning is coming up November 7th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Hello Jags, if you are interested in playing basketball this year, we are having tryouts October 28th at 2.30 to 4.30. In order to try out, you must have your athletic packet completed. Please bring basketball shoes and lots of water. Please note that tryouts will only be one day. Hey Jags, I'm Matthew. And I'm Cody. Today is Monday, October 28th. I also need your help. These amazing students led by Miss C. Black and Miss Williams are looking forward to attending their annual state competition. And there are a lot of them that have moved forward in the competition. Please help them out with any support you can provide to send these student fans further on. These students are our future medical professionals. The link to donate is on the Port St. Lucie High School Facebook. Here's a message from Hagens. Good morning, Jags. To all my seniors, this is your chance to get money off the cost of Grad Bash. On Saturday, November 16th, from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., there will be a family and friends blood drive at the Civic Center. For each person you bring to donate blood in your name, that will be $25 off of the cost of Grad Bash, which is $200. For example, if I am a senior student and I bring my mom, dad, sibling, and myself, that will be four people and that will be $25 off for each person, equaling to $100 off of Grad Bash. If you have any questions, see me or Ms. Sheffield. Here's an announcement from JROCT and HOSA about the upcoming blood drive. Good morning, Jags. I'm Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Tamara Ferguson. And I'm Cadet Major Sarah Leonis from Pursuit Siasco Drive Battalion. JROTC and HOSA will be hosting the second blood drive of the year on Thursday, November 14, 2024. Signups will begin on Thursday, October 24, 2024. Signups will be held in front of the cafeteria during A and B lunch. All 16-year-olds must have a signed parent permission form. 17 and 18-year-olds do not require a signed parent permission form. As always, everyone who donates will receive the gift from Wimbledon. Chelsea Francois, first place in traditional Olympic list with a bench press of 125. Isabella Becquera, first Olympic and third in traditional lifts with a clean and jerk of 105 pounds. Fallon Ingram, second place in traditional and Olympic lifts. Trinity Essex, first place in traditional and Olympic lifts. Natalie Caron, second place in traditional Olympic lifts. Olivia Hortzman, first place in traditional and Olympic lifts. Gracelyn Solinsky, first place in traditional and Olympic lifts with a bench of 115. Nevea Carranza, second place in traditional and Olympic lifts. Ms. Jonas need more volunteers for the Breast Cancer Awareness Walk. It is on October 26 at 8 a.m. at Memorial Park. Only seniors who need to meet reading or math requirements will test tomorrow, October 29th. PSAT makeup date is October 31st. Aside from the PSAT makeup dates, there are no other makeup dates for the above test. Reach out to Ms. Schaefer with any questions. There was a college visit from the UCF's Office of Admissions in the Media Center on Wednesday, October 30th at 1.40 to 2.30 p.m. You must have your own ride home. This event is open to juniors and seniors. Parents are also welcome to attend this event. They're going to be discussing their admissions and application process with the prospective students and families. Shirts for seniors and freshmen are now on sale to purchase. Go to schoolpay.com. The Port St. Lucie High boys basketball team are now selling women's red v-neck tees and unisex gray tees. It's a fundraiser and they are now available for pre-order and each are $20. To buy one, please talk to Coach Rodriguez. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching, watching JTV, JTV News and, and remember Jags, one team, one dream. One dream. <laughs>